Hey, we are out at the lake and we are going to go dive. I've got Jenny yes. with me again. It's been a while Ooh. since I dove with the mister. <laughs> So, you know, I was out here doing some certifications and we lost a weight pocket. So I am going to be looking for that. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go see if we can find any other treasures as yep. well. I am very treasure hungry. I'm right. ready to find some phones and Apple Watches. It's been a long time. So let's go do that. Let's do it. So typically, Jenny takes forever to put on her wetsuit. I'm going to time her this time. Let's see how fast she can get it on. Okay, timer's ready. All right, Mark, set, go. I forgot to stop it. It said 120, okay? Next time I'm gonna beat it, I promise.
was an awesome dive. Yes. That was fun. Good to get back in the water. It was. I was starting to get a little chilled towards the end, but yes. I was good. And I was fine because <laughs> I had multiple layers of wetsuits, so yeah. I'm usually the cold one. We found some cool stuff. Let's flip around here and see what we found. Can't wait to show. All right. I found a few sunglasses. These are Armani, so if they're real, that's pretty nice. I would clean them up. These are gross. Found a few vapes. Of course, I found some golf balls. And I think this is a steak. What do you think? I've never seen a steak <laughs> yeah, like I that. Um, I did find an Apple Watch and a phone, but my Apple Watch comes with a bonus ecosystem. Oh, nice. Look at that. <laughs> okay, let's see what you found, Steve. I found a lot of sunglasses today. This is my best pair, pair of Ray-Bans. I always love finding Ray-Bans. Check this out. I gotta go check it out. It's heavy. When I found it underwater, I thought for sure it was gold. But now that I'm out here, it's looking a little bit more brass. I don't know. We'll let you know though. But that was a fun find for me. I did find three Apple Watches and check this one out. It just needs to be charged up. Boom. <laughs> so we'll be able, definitely be able to charge that one. If it's not locked or they have a emergency contact we'll definitely get them back to the owner so stay tuned and check it out these other two look like they've been underwater for a little bit longer but they don't look like they have a lot of water damage on them so i'll dry those out and see if i can charge them i found this phone it was in a waterproof bag so i think we'll be if we can figure that one out we will this iphone 11 pro it's uh got a little bit of water in there but there's not water damage to the screen I'll dry it out and we'll see if there we can is, find the owner. It looks like there's an ID in the back. There is an ID in the back, so we'll definitely be able to get this back or to the a, owner. Or a credit card or something. Yeah, one of the two. Awesome. I have had everything drying out in silica gel beads for a little while because I was worried about um, water damage on these. So I'm going to start with these Apple Watches and see if they work. This was actually the one that Jenny found. I don't know. Look at all of that fur <laughs> it's on got the its, back. <clears throat> it's got its own forest there. All right, let's try it out. Oh, there's no way. It's dead to the world. Yeah, that would have already popped on. All right, wah, I think wah. that one's had a little too much water. Let's try this one. This is the one that was turning on underwater, so I know it works, but let's just... Get it charged up. Yep, all right. Boom. Get that one charged. Okay, next. Now these two... They look like they've been under for a while, but they don't have, it doesn't look like water damage. So let's take a look at this white one first. Okay, cross your fingers. Ooh. Hey, that came on really fast. All right. Okay, okay. Hey, hey. Let's try this one. Let's go, let's now, go. Now, I have had that Apple sign come on before and then they don't charge, so I'm gonna keep trying that and see if it makes sure. Let's try this see one. See if again. it makes sure. Let's go, guys. All right. Nice. Three for four. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad. Three for four. All right, I'll get these charged up. Hopefully, they have emergency contacts or they're not locked, and then I can find the owners. And if I do, I will get them back to them. Let's try these phones now. I'm going to do the Samsung first because it was in a waterproof case, and I think it's got its best shot at coming alive. Come alive. Come, come alive. alive. That's a good sign. Okay. What are you expecting to happen? Sign. <laughs> go. Oh, hey. there we go. All right. Okay. All right. I'll keep that charging. Nice thing about these Samsungs is sometimes they have SD cards in them. I'll check that SD card and then I can I can possibly find the owner from contact information and things of that nature. If you do have an SD card and you have a Samsung phone or you have a GoPro or anything else that a, a drone, name your SD card your phone number. And then if somebody finds it, when they plug it in their computer, they'll have your phone number and they can get back in touch with you. So let's hope that I can find the owners there. Let's try these iPhones. This one is the one Jenny found. I don't no, have good luck today, so. No protection. Ooh, sad, let's just sad. Try. Hey, the light came on down here. Wouldn't that be something? Oh, look Whoa. at that. Look at the look. Okay, lines. There's, there's definitely been some, some water damage. damage here. So I don't know if that's going to come alive, really, uh, but let's yeah, keep charging scary. it. We'll see. I'm, I might try and dry this one out just a little bit longer because um, there's I don't want to ruin it by putting the heat on there and kicking the screen up. 
Let's try this one now. That's a good sign. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Oh, it's trying. It's, it's thinking. It's thinking. It's thinking. Yeah, I've seen this one before. <laughs> Been down this road before. Been down this road before. That one's not going to make it. Too much water damage. Stay tuned to the end because we've got three working Apple Watches. We've got one for sure working phone and possibly another. And we'll get these back to the owners. So even though this phone doesn't work, he does have his business card here. So I've already looked up his phone number. His name's Ethan. At least we can get his credit card back and his business card back to him. Cause so. you know he'll want that. Let me give him a call. All right, left the message for Ethan. We'll wait for him to get back in touch with us, and then um, I'm sure he wants us back. He's got his business card. There's a couple. He might want cards. a paperweight. You never yeah, know. Yeah, the phone doesn't work, but still. <laughs> you never know. Anyways, we'll try and get it back to him. I was hoping it was gonna dry out and work. I, I actually had it in silica gel beads for about three weeks. Did you? I was trying to dry it out, but. Dude, thank you. So you gotta tell us how you lost it. So it was literally six months ago. Really? Yeah. It was back in June. No wow. wonder your phone wouldn't work. That is a long yeah. time. Yeah. Well, first of all, let me ask you, was it just at the bottom of the lake? Yeah. And you went down at there? The dawn. It was right there at the dawn. Yeah. So yeah. it was like midnight. We met some guys there. We were wrestling. <laughs> we were trying to throw each other into the dock. I get thrown in the water. I come back out. Couldn't find my gone. phone. Oh. Probably looked for it for like an hour and a half. Uh, yeah, it's, it's so dark down there. Oh, no, and it's like 20 feet. <laughs> got the same exactly case. The same. I got the same credit card. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> so, well. I couldn't believe when you texted me. <laughs> Six months later, I forgot about it. I got you a hat too. Hey, mm. thank you. All right. <laughs> This one did have too much water damage. It would not charge. It was acting like I wanted to, but it wouldn't do it. So no go on that one. We did get this one charged up, but it is locked and I can't unlock it. And I went and opened up the SD card. There's no SD card, just a SIM card. So if you lost your Samsung, it's an S20. It's in this waterproof bag, Swirl Lake. Let us know, share this video. We'd love to get it back to you. Out of our Apple Watches, this one charged up, but it does need a passcode, and they don't have their emergency contact. Right there, it would have had a little emergency contact. So, this is a Series 4 Apple Watch, lost at, the, lost at the cliffs, Swirl Lake. Let's try and get it back to somebody. Share this. If you know anyone who lost it there, let us know. Same thing with this one. Code, and no emergency contact. So, I can't get it back to them, Swirl Lake. This one, though, on the other hand, it is locked but they were smart and they put a medical lady on there. Alex is her spouse. I'm gonna go ahead and text him and see if we can get it back to her. Do you know how she lost it? Yeah, um, so a friend of ours took us to Subaru Lake uh, to do some paddle boarding. Okay. And then he led us to this uh, cliff diving location. Yeah. And yeah. Rebecca, my fiance, um, just totally forgot that it was on her wrist. <laughs> and she, she just jumped right in and she came out and I was like, Wizard. She's like, oh my god, you know, it was yeah. like, oh no, it's an expensive mistake to make. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. I was wondering, I was like, how did you get my phone? Like, Who is this? Yeah, that's I awesome. Got her a hat though, too. Oh, thank you so much. All right, hope you enjoyed that. Give us a thumbs up if you did. Like and subscribe, share with mm -hmm. your friends. Go check out our merch at tripanddiveshop.com if you want to oh. support the channel. And we will catch you on our next adventure. Bye.